song's going out to everybody that's missing someone up in heaven. You know, up in heaven, we got something called Heaven's Phone. It's available 24 hours a day. Pick it up. Say hello. I still can't believe I'm really not here. We spent the months and months and years. You promised you'd stay. I know how you tried. But God needed you, so I stepped aside. I didn't collapse, did not fall apart. But deep down inside, there's a hole in my heart. It comes out of nowhere, a sight or a sound. That's when it hits me that you're not around. So much to remember, so much to forget. You left me too soon, is my only regret. My heart breaks a little when I think of when we planned on tomorrows that would never end. Wow. There, it's better. Yeah, there you go. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Song Father Show. <clears throat> Excuse me. On the 25th day of October 2019, today is my sister Donna's birthday. She is years old. It's unbelievable. So I hope everybody had a good night. Uh, I had a pretty nice night myself. And uh, today... I don't know. They were saying it was going to be beautiful like yesterday, a little bit cold. And it's been cloudy all day, and it feels like it's going to rain. And if you saw my arms and my feet uh, with this CRPS that I have, you would think, oh, my God, there's like a hurricane coming, swollen and purple and painful. And it just, it's horrible. It's a horrible disease. There's a million horrible diseases, but um, no cure for it. So all you can do is, you know, keep taking some of these um, Non, non-addictive, non-narcotic pain medicines, and uh, it, it sometimes it just don't help. The anti-inflammatories don't help. You know what helps? <laughs> it's amazing. Chantanuno. The pain doesn't go away, but after a while, you don't give a shit. So it's wonderful. I love it. Anyway. Anyway, Daddy was going, why, why? Why is he drinking wine during the show? Why? Chris, Chrissy, call him. Do something. Come on. Take charge, will you? Well, so today's theme is going to be the human anatomy. <laughs> That's why I'm wearing half a shirt, you know? Hey, look at these guns, huh? Look at these guns. Not bad for 84 years old. Let me tell you that right now. So, um, uh, something I, I wanted to say before, and I, I just kept putting it off, but um, you know, last week was my birthday, and uh, uh, beautiful, well, I mean, tons, you know, well over a grand uh, of uh, well wishes and everything, which was wonderful. But uh, I never get used to it now after Mom passed away. It's going to be three years in January, and she only called me for my birthday exactly at 12 noon when I was born, you know. And sometimes I would wake up and, like, there's no call from my mother. This is ridiculous, you know. And then she would call at 12, and I'd be like, yeah, well, it's about time you got around to it. And she would never say anything. And then finally, about, I don't know, maybe five, five years ago, six years ago, she goes, you know, you mook. I said, what? She goes, I call you at 12 because that's the, day, that's the time you were born. You should know that. What the hell? I was just born. How do I know that? But, uh, yeah, so, it's, uh, you know, it's always a little tough. And then, like, you know, with the holidays coming up, everybody goes through it. I understand that. 
But uh, I just wanted to get that out of the way because, you know, it, it, it comes back up. My sister Gloria and I share the same birthday on the 16th, and Don is the 25th, and we always used to bust our chops. You know, oh, so uh, had a lot of fun on New Year's, didn't you? I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and poor Tina. Tina has to sit there while we all celebrate our October birthdays and her birthdays and until May. And she used to be upset about it. And I used to go, yeah, but come May, everybody's fawning all over you. We, we don't get to share in that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I knew you would. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, so today's show is going to be the human anatomy. I was going to do it naked, but I figured let me put on my tank top and I have no pants on. So I am almost naked, you know, because we have to go through the anatomy. So. And uh, everybody, Tino, Tino, everybody, Tino was very happy again today, right? That's right, good boy, there you go. And um, so, you know, we'll get to a few stories. It's Friday night, so I cut the stories down short, and um, we'll do the songs about the human anatomy. Mm -hmm. No songs about Mulva, sorry, Jerry Seinfeld. And uh, so let's get to a couple of stories. Um, they did a special on Marty Lyons today on one of the news stations. And uh, I've had the pleasure of being in his company many, many, many times. And a really, really great guy. Uh, him and Jim Kelly. And, you know, they all had uh, children that were born with uh, certain diseases and afflictions. And, you know, instead of uh, saying, woe is me or whatever, they went out and they formed their own corporations and, and, and nonprofits and everything else to help everybody else with the same kind of diseases and uh, so he started in 1982, and they said as of last year, 2018, he's raised $35 million. That's not counting his own time or whatever he's done. And it's just amazing. Cystic fibrosis for both of them, I think it is. But uh, so, yeah, you know, good job, Mr. Marty Lyons. Hell of a football player, too. He was one of the guys that used to drive him nuts. Because I, you know, I don't know if you remember, but I told you guys uh, a while ago, I used to hang with the Jets. And uh, have a lot of fun with them, and Johnny Lamb Jones, and Teddy Banker, and uh, and Freeman McNeil, and of course Marty Lyons, and Joe Klecko. I mean, we we always had a lot of fun, and you know they used to pick me up or send me a ticket, and I'd go down to the Super Bowl uh, on them and on the NFL, and and uh, have a lot of fun, and you know go out and eating and drinking and this and that and the parties, and ah, oh, my goodness gracious, and. Uh, so they all, all of them, but Marty used to take it the worst. Like, what are you hanging out with us for if you're a Giant fan? Like, I'll leave. <laughs> you want me to go? Oh, it's not that. I just don't understand. I like having fun, and I like free tickets to Florida. I mean, what do you want me to tell you? I enjoy your guys' company. I'm a Jet fan, but I'm a Giant fan first. That, that's it. Mm. We took, um, when you had good Joe Klecko at that golf tournament that I used to be the chairman of, and... Um, we, were, uh, we took him out on, uh, at North Hills Country Club uh, about a week before the actual the day of the tournament where he was being honored as the man of the year. And, uh, and uh, we get to the third hole, and it's a, it's a par three. It's not that far. It's a little difficult, but it's elevated tee and blah, blah, blah. So uh, uh, my friend Ronnie, he goes, he hits one, he makes the green. This other guy, uh, Bobby, doesn't make the green. Click, I'm going last because I had won the last hole. <laughs> So Klecka gets up there, and he hits a shot. I'm telling you. I think I told the story already. but And uh, he puts it about, I don't know, five feet from the hole. Walk off like this, giving us the look, you know. I get up there. Boom. I mean, I just, I, never would I do it again, trust me. But I just hit a beautiful shot high and just carried him. Plop, two drops, you know, boom, boom. I'm like a foot to two feet away from the hole inside of him. And I turned around, and I said, up your ass, Klecko. And this monster got out of the golf cart and started chasing me. What'd you say to me? Anyway, so good job, Marty Lyons. And then I just saw a thing that we can't paint pumpkins black now. It's, it's, uh, it's not cool. It's, not, it's no good. So there was, you know, stores that were selling black pumpkins, you know, with the faces paint on it, like we do with orange ones, like we do with blue ones. Can't do it now. Mm -mm, sorry, no good. Where have we gotten to? Well, you know, if it offends some people, then we, we just won't sell them anymore. Are you people crazy? What is wrong with you? Oh, my God almighty. It's ridiculous. Anyway, 
Um, in Texas, over 200 homeless seniors, and what I didn't like about this was anybody over 50 was considered a senior. Are you out of your mind? What are you following, the AARP? Come on. Anyway, 200 of them were given either an apartment or a tiny home inside this, this new uh, complex that they built that has, um, besides the apartments and the tiny homes, it has gardens, public gardens for everybody. It's got a picnic area. It's got a chapel. It's got a dog walk area. It's got a dog rescue area and an amphitheater for uh, where they put on shows and concerts and everything else. So uh, maybe going too far, you know, the other way, you know, maybe. I don't know. But, uh, you know, giving them some, some dignity back into their lives, not bad, you know. There's a, there's a very bad misconception out there that the, most of them are just homeless because they don't care anymore and uh, they're lazy. It's really not what it is. You know, a lot of them, uh, you know, had, had nice, successful lives and a happy marriage and kids and everything else and then lost their job and couldn't meet the bills and lost the house and lost this. And maybe then they gave up, but they didn't do it like to get over because they're not getting over. They just, they got no home, they got nowhere. So, so as, I'm, as I'm listening to the story on TV... I was going to put in my notes here, you know, hopefully the other states and other companies are going, to, are going to follow suit. And then I find out Wells Fargo is going to donate $1 billion across the United States to every state to help them with placing homeless people in, into shelters and into homes of their own and finding jobs for them and everything else. Okay? Now, Wells Fargo, you know, it's been around since the horses and horse and pony days, you know. With the uh, Texas Rangers and everything. That's how far Wells Fargo goes back transporting important documents and money and stuff. And the gold. When Jesse James and his brother, uh, Harry James. Oh, no, no, no. Harry James was the musician. F Frank James. And uh, uh, so, yeah. So, they're good. They're, they're a worldwide company. Uh, and, and I get it. A billion dollars, though. That's not a drop in a bucket. And they're doing that. Why aren't more companies doing that? Right? Come on. Everybody, step to the plate. Help out your fellow mankind, womankind, humankind. Be kind. So, right, you know. No, no aviaries. Sorry. Not yet, anyway. Over in Israel, doctors and researchers and scientists have collaborated, and they have developed an eye drop that is going to do away with glasses for people that are farsighted. Wow. Are you kidding me? All you have to do is a regimented program, but you drop them in your eyes for, I think it's for two months, whatever, maybe less. And um, whatever inside the drops does something. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. And uh, you don't need to wear glasses anymore. Oh, now we're talking. Here's Israel again. Israel is like just coming up with cures for this and that. Now, come on. Come on, America. Let's go. And one, two, three. All right, we'll save that. So let's get down to the human, 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 human anatomy, and um, sing along if you would like. We're gonna start off with old blue eyes. Oh, eyes. That's not the answer, but it is the answer. This is uh, one of his favorite songs, and I'm watching a thing yesterday on YouTube that somebody sent me, and it's um, Joey Bishop had, was filling in for Johnny Carson, and uh, out of nowhere, unexpectedly. Who comes out from behind the curtain at, while they were partying uh, in their tuxedos <laughs> was uh, Frank and Dean. And they come on and just tore the place apart. And uh, then he gets up, Frank gets up and sings this song. And I always love this song because, you know what, it's an honest song. Some people go, hey, him or her, it doesn't matter. I don't think about him anymore. I don't think about her. Forget about it. I'm here. We're having a good time. That's it. Not the truth. <laughs> Hey, drink up all you people Order anything you see And have fun, all you happy people The laugh and the drinks on me Try to think that love's not around 
Still it's uncomfortably near My poor old heart Ain't gaining no ground Cause my angel eyes Ain't here Angel eyes That old devil sent They glow uncomfortably bright Need I say that my love's misspent Misspent with angel eyes tonight So drink up all you people Order anything you see And have fun all you happy people the Drink And the laughs on me Pardon me But I've got to run The facts uncommonly clear I've got to find out who's now number one <laughs> And why my angel lies in here Excuse me While I disappear Gotta find my angel eyes And bring her back here If you're keeping notes Eyes Human anatomy Won't you wear my ring around your neck to show the world I'm yours by head. Let them see your love for me and let them see by the ring around your neck. Won't you wear my ring around your neck to tell the world I'm yours by head. Let them know. I love you so And let them know About a ring around your neck Well, they say that going steady Is not the proper thing They say that we're too young To know the meaning of a ring I only know I love you, girl I know you love me too So darling, this is what I ask of you Will you wear my ring Around your neck To tell the world I'm yours by head. Let them see your love for me. And let them see you by the ring around your neck. Oh. Oh, darling, this is what I beg of you. Round your neck to tell the world I'm yours by head. Let them know I love you so, and let them know by the ring around your neck. And let them know by the ring around your neck. And let them know by the ring around your
Come back again I want you to stay next time Cause sometimes the world ain't kind When people get lost like you and me I just made a friend Friend is someone you need But now that he had to go away I still feel the words that he might say Turn on your heart lights Let it shine wherever you go Let it make a happy glow for all the world to see Turn on your heart light In the middle of a young boy's dream Don't wake me up too soon Gonna take a ride across the moon You and me He's looking for a home Cause everyone needs a place And home's the most excellent place of all And I'll be right here if you should call me Turn on your heart light In the middle Oh, you go Let it make a happy glow For all the world to see Turn on your heart light In the middle of a young boy's dream Don't wake me up too soon Gonna take a ride across the moon You and me and Home's the most excellent place of all and I'll be right here if you should Call me Turn on your heart light In the middle of a young boy's dream Let it shine for me For all the world to see Wow Turn on your heart light In the middle of a young boy's dream Don't wake me up too soon Gonna take a ride across the moon You and me Well turn on your heart light now Turn on your heart light now ah. One more Hey, here we go That was heart, right? How lucky can one guy be? I kissed her and she kissed me. I like the fellow on say, ain't that a kick in her head? The room was completely black. I hugged her and she hugged back. I like the sailor said, quote, ain't that a hole in the boat? My head keeps spinning I go to sleep, I keep grinning If this is just the beginning My life is gonna be beautiful I've sunshine enough to spread 
just like the fella said Tell me quick, can't that a kick in the head? Take it. I like the fella said, ain't that a kick in the head? I like the sailor said, quote, ain't that a hole in the boat? My head keeps spinning. I go to sleep, I keep grinning. If this is just the beginning, my life is gonna be beautiful. She's telling me we'll be with. She's picked out a king size bed. Oh, I couldn't feel any better. All right, Mrs. Zick. Tell me quick. Oh, ain't that a kick? Tell me quick. Ain't that a kick? Yeah, the head. Somebody shoot me. Tino, what do you think? <laughs> That's, That's it. it. Wow, it's very quiet tonight. Okay, so let's finish up the stories and then finish up the show. Mm -mm 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 -mm. In Wales the home of Mr. Tom Jones, who stuffed socks and underwears down his pants. <laughs> a student at the South Wales University, a student, has invented an earring. I don't think guys can wear it, but I guess they could if they wanted to. But it's an earring that monitors your blood sugar, okay? Automatically sends a report via Bluetooth, you know, to your phone or whatever, straight to the doctor, so he's got your numbers, you know, at, at sporadic times during the day and also sends a signal to those that have the pump um, to give a, uh, an insulin shot amazing and uh, you know a while back uh, daddy O hold on every time I say his name I gotta put it up he paid a lot of money for this so I don't want to I don't want to upset him every time I put daddy O up I get a thousand dollars right daddy O <laughs> But um, he had a couple of health scares and this and that, and, you know, the body slows down, and then it picks up, and this and that, and whatever. And uh, so he, he was uh, diagnosed with diabetes, and um, they put him on the insulin. He had to get the shots, and they did it for about maybe two, three weeks, and then he just clicked back in again, normal. And, um, but just to make sure this doesn't happen again, they put this thing on his arm. I don't know if you've seen it. I don't know if you saw a commercial, but um, um, it monitors the sugar. They give you, uh, it's like a phone. Actually, it's almost the same kind of concept that this kid had. And you just wave it, right, right here. Where, where am I doing? What camera here? You wave it like if this is it. You go like this. There you go. And it gives you what your sugar is. Write that down, and then you end up faxing it over to the doctor. And uh, this is where they can monitor the numbers. I mean, it's amazing what they're doing now. So this guy took the same concept, this kid. Well, I don't want to say kid, but he's a kid. And uh, just, you know, fine-tuned it a little bit more. You know, so now you don't have to, you know, there's no more needle pricks and need this and that. Da, 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 da. I mean, just, it's amazing what they're doing. Amazing. But now, Israel and Wales. What the hell is America doing? I'm getting a little upset here. And then, um, a lot of, uh, uh, and rightfully so, don't get me wrong, but a lot of um, bad, some, some horrific stories about Uber drivers. Um, you know, and not to pat myself on the back, which is what I said from the beginning. Like, oh, that's a, that's a great idea. But it's not a great idea, you know? I mean, there's no due diligence done. There's really no, you know, um, federal and all those kind of background checks done. You had a car? Oh, you want to drive? Okay, you're hired. And, uh, you know, there's been a lot of really heinous crimes committed by Uber drivers, kidnappings and rapes, and, uh, well, it's horrible. But this is a good story. Uh, a woman from, hold on, New Hampshire, uh, was having her first baby. And um, as it was getting closer to delivery time, the doctors noticed that the baby had a, uh, 
a, uh, a rare birth defect, um, some kind of a hernia kind of thing. Um, so um, Johns Hopkins down in Florida uh, is uh, one of the very few hospitals in the country that deals with that, and so she went down there. And, um, you know, she had the baby, and then they took the baby right away, and they put it in where they had to put it and took care of it, and then they had to do the, the, the repair surgery on the hernia, and the baby was on a breathing machine. I mean, very, very hard, hard time for the mom, obviously. And, um, and uh, she was there one day, and they're like, okay, you know, hold on, say prayers, whatever you're going to do, but uh, we think he's ready to come off the, um, the uh, breathing machine. And uh, so they take him and they put him on his stomach and uh, take him off. And now he's breathing on his own. So, like, there's a sigh of relief, but there's also more panic that sets in now. Like, it could change. And they told her, we're not going to sugarcoat it. This could change in two, two hours, five hours, six hours, whatever. I don't know. So uh, she realizes, all right, now the baby's born. And this, oh, my God, I, got, I don't have nothing for this kid. You know, they told her about it. She went down to Florida. That was the end of it. So she needs to go down and uh, she needs to go shopping. So there's a place close to uh, Johns Hopkins that uh, they go in. And it was the last day of the sale. She's in Florida. She flew down there. She doesn't have a car. And so she calls Uber. And uh, Uber takes her to the place. And she's in there and she's you know, looking, looking at this and looking at that. And uh, what she doesn't know is that the Uber driver, she told them the story on the way down, why she's down there. You know, they were making conversation like most cabbies do. You know, oh, do you live around here? Blah, blah, blah. So she told him the whole story about this and that and took him off the machine. She's scared to death. What if I come back and he's dead and, and he's not? I mean, just, you know, and, and understandably so. You know, the, the fear and the panic that sets in. Um, so anyway, so she goes and she picks out her stuff. And uh, she goes up to the counter to, to pay for the stuff. And the girl behind the counter hands her a bag. She says, what's this? Oh, Uber driver was a female, by the way. That does have a lot to do with it. Not the nice enough, uh, the, the, the nonviolent bullshit stuff. Um, oh, she paid for all these. And um, put your uh, credit card away. She's paying for the rest of these, too. So the Uber driver, hearing the story, everything this lady's going through and everything else, went down there with her mother, uh, took care of everything, bought the kid clothes and this and diapers and, and bottles, everything that you're going to need. The baby's going to be in the hospital for, like they said, probably another two months, but... All, uh, all diagnoses right now say that this kid will be running around and driving his mother nuts within a year's time. So there you go. Do it nice. Do it the right way. There you go. So, uh, all right, that's the last of the stories. One story from me, and then we'll get back to the last couple of songs. Um, I had to go and buy some stuff at Home Depot. Uh -huh. hey, yeah, I mean, look at me. You know, Come on, I'm a rugged guy. You know I go to Home Depot. But I needed a couple of things. I was there the other day. So I'm, I'm walking around. And, uh, and one thing I found out was that uh, when I, when, after Mom passed and I came here, I put a chandelier in, into, you know, into the ceiling. And uh, I, they told me that you need um, uh, special dimmable bulbs and this and that. But get these LEDs because they last 20 years. All right, whatever. And it would dim, but, like, if this is like full brightness, it would dim. That's it. That's about it. Like, I don't know, maybe it's the wiring. I don't know, whatever. So um, I go in just for a simple thing to get the, the little, I don't even know what they call them, but that you turn lamps on and off. I bought a nice uh, uh, corner lamp, you know, the little skinny ones and at the top it's a blah, blah, whatever. It didn't come with one, so somebody screwed up. But anyway, so I get that. Then I ask somebody about the lights and, oh, okay. Oh, you got to get them. I got them. You got to get the LEDs. I got them. Well, you know, some of them, some of those uh, bulbs don't work good with them as good as others. I'm like, well, nobody told me that. I went out and bought, the, you know, enough of them. Mm, these are the ones that you need. These will go all the way down to almost like candles and then go as bright as whatever you want to choose, 60, 100, whatever. All right. I said, well, what do I do with the ones I got? So, it he brings me up to the counter and he tells the cashier to take fifteen dollars off off his bill for this. I'm like, wow, thank you. That was very nice. The the boxes <laughs> were seven ninety nine each. So that's sixteen dollars, so it only cost me a dollar, which is cool. But the story was, as I'm walking around, I mean I'm looking at myself. Right now as I'm talking, I look at myself on the screen, I'm like, All right, 
I'm not a bad looking guy. I don't look like trouble. You know, I didn't have this on. I had a nice shirt on. I'm being followed by security. You know, I'm the worst security I've ever seen, especially from a guy that's been in this for 40, 40 years. And uh, they're following me everywhere I go. I'm a black guy and a Spanish guy. And like, you know, so they get ahead of me and then they lean up against the counter and start talking to each other. And, you know, yeah, yeah, I don't know. They we won't get to see the World Series this weekend. I'm like, oh, my God. I tell you, <laughs> I had the best time. I went up and down every aisle, turned sideways. I would come down one aisle and see them go the other way. Then I would back out, run down the other end of the aisle and then come up behind them and walk past them. I would take things off the shelf, go to to two aisles over, put them on, uh, on the shelf over there, sneak around three aisles down, come back down to the same aisle where I put the two on the shelf, pick them back up again. <laughs> I had a blast. They, you know, they deserved it for Christ's sake, but, you know, I know they're doing a job, but come on, you know. Anyway, so, yeah, that was my Home Depot story. So, uh, what are we doing now? We got, uh, hmm. I just did uh, Kick in the Head, right? So we got three songs left, right? Oh, we, one, two, three. We got four songs left. I got to get moving. So let's do this one. And this song is about the largest, largest organ. That's right. Hey, hey Dunes, Dunes, take it easy. I'm, I'm talking, talking about, about the, the skin. skin. That's right. I've got you under my skin I have got you deep in the heart of me So deep in my heart that you're really a part of me I've got you under my skin well, I tried so not to give in I said to myself, this affair never will go so well But why should I try to resist when, baby, I go so well That I've got you under my skin well, I'd sacrifice anything, come what might For the sake of having you near In spite of a warning voice That comes in the night and repeats and repeats in my ear Don't you know, you fool, you ain't never gonna win Use your mentality Step up to reality but each time I do, just the thought of you makes me stop before I begin. Cause I've got you under my skin. Sambuga time! I would sacrifice anything, come what might For the sake of having you near In spite of a warning voice That comes in the night and repeats how it yells in my ear Don't you know, you fool You ain't never gonna win Why not use your mentality Wake up, step up to reality But each time I do just the thought of you makes me stop just before I begin Cause I've got you under my skin And I like you under my skin Now this song should be North 
or it can be sour. Heaven, I'm in heaven, and my heart beats so that I can hardly speak, and I seem to find the happiness I see. When we're out together dancing tree to tree Oh heaven I'm in heaven And the cares that hung around me Through the week Seem to vanish like a gambler's lucky streak When we're out together dancing tree to tree Oh, I love to climb a mountain and reach the highest peak. It doesn't thrill me half as much as dancing cheek to cheek. Oh, I love to go out fishing in a river or a creek. But I don't enjoy it half as much as dancing cheek to cheek. Come on and dance with me, I want my arms around you, all the charms about you will carry me through. I'm in heaven, and my heart beats so that I can hardly speak, and I seem to find the happiness I see. When we're out together dancing G to G Take it! Hey! Oh, to go out fishing A river or a creek But I won't enjoy it half as much as my hands on your cheeks Dance with me I want my arms around you All the charms around you Will carry me through Oh heaven I'm in heaven And my heart beats so That I can unless be Oh, I don't see the happiness I see Unless we're out together dancing Out together dancing Out together dancing cheek to cheek And that can be north or south Don't forget That's right how to do this one, you know you gotta do it. Ah, fairy tales can come true. It can happen to you if you're young at heart. For it's hard you will find to be narrow of mind. If you're young at heart You can go to extremes With impossible schemes You can laugh as your dreams Fall apart at the scene Life gets more exciting With each passing day Love is either in your heart or on its way Don't you know That it's worth Every treasure on earth To be young at heart For as rich As you are It's much better by far To be young at heart And if you should survive to a hundred and five. Look at all you derive 
out of being alive and here is the best part you got a head start if you are among the very young at all And if you should survive to a hundred and five, look at all you derive out of being alive. And here is the best part, you've got a head start if you are among the very young at heart. Oh, everybody always loves that song. So this last song, all right, it could be, first of all, it's not, yeah, it's not uh, part of my usual John Ra. You know my friend John, 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 John Ra, come in. I get it, he's, he's, he's busy. But, <laughs> but um, you know, this is going back to the days before I was returned back on to uh, you know, Frankie and Dino in the 50s and the oldies and the doo-wops. I mean, the do italian americans And um, this is Jethro Tull. And people could argue, well, it's really not part of the anatomy, you know. I will tell you this. If you don't have this, you ain't got no anatomy. Ladies and gentlemen. One of the best leadings, openings ever in music. Jethro Tull's Locomotive Breath, going out to Patrick Calamare, the Emperor of Classic Rock. My second favorite Jethro Tull song, besides Wind Up. Oh. You can get up on the tables for this. You have my permission. In the shuffle and madness of the locomotive breath Runs the old time loser headlong to his death Oh, he feels the piston scraping, steam breaking on his brow And the train, it won't stop going no way to slow down, to slow down. He sees his children jump off at the stations one by one. His woman and his best friend in bed and having fun. Oh, he's crawling down the corridor. On his hands and knees Oh, Charlie stole the handle And the train, it won't stop going No way to slow down Oh, oh, oh. 
जय हिंद He hears the silence howling, catches angels as they fall. In the old time winner has got him by the ball Oh, he picks up Gideon's Bible Oh, man, at page one Thank God he stole the handle For the train, he won't stop going No way to slow down 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 That's right. That's how it ends. So, you know, what do you think of that song? He's gone berserk. He's gone berserk. Excuse me. He's gone berserk. Okay, thank you. Well said. Well said, Tino. Well said. So uh, there's the show. As we head into this weekend, the last weekend in October, believe it or not, believe it. There's no not involved. Believe it. I said it. <laughs> so uh, I hope you liked it. I hope you liked this, uh, this little uh, musical, uh, you know, trip. I don't want to say trip, but this little musical operation of the anatomy. Take out wrenched ankle. Remember? And I uh, hope you all have a good weekend. Nice and safe. Up here on the island of Long, they're talking Sunday. ba 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 Boom thunderstorms and this and that three inches of rain coming in heavy winds so and then it goes away monday and it comes back tuesday but i got a feeling they're wrong my body's telling me they're wrong there's going to be more rain than they're thinking but oh, anyway so uh, yeah have a good weekend i love you all i rally do and uh, no i'm not gay and there's nothing wrong with that or whatever seinfeld used to say but um yeah so have a good uh, have a good weekend have a good night whoever you're rooting for in the world series it better be Washington, because <laughs> the Nationals are going down the Altuve, and, uh, and then we'll see what happens. Uh, Daddy-O's, wait, 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 wait. Daddy-O's friend, uh, Joe Girardi, in person, they were friends, but the way he managed, uh, they weren't friends. And uh, one day in Rayo's, in, uh, in uh, Manhattan, New York City, um, it was on a Monday night, and my father was there, and Daddy-O and Chrissy and a bunch of pals. And, and who comes walking in? Joe Girardi. Everybody's like, oh, my God, Joe Girardi. And uh, so um, uh, may he rest in peace, Frankie Pellegrino brings him over, and uh, Joe Girardi would like to meet you. And, oh, you can sit down. How are you doing? Nice to meet you, and this and that. And good. And he goes, wow. Is there always this crowd in here? <laughs> and my father says, well, no. Actually, they heard that you were coming tonight, so they were all allowed to come in, and they all uh, were given the opportunity to ask you three questions about the way you're managing the Yankees. <laughs> he goes, where's the back door? And he got up like he was leaving. Oh, daddy-o, no wonder I get where I get it from. So please don't forget to B-O-T-E, vote, B-O-T-E, vote, 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 vote. And you guys are all seriously doing a great job, unless you're just all bullshitting me and saying, oh, by the way, I voted today, you know. But I don't think so. I think you're all true blue. So, um, yeah, please, keep going. I know there's still a long way to go, my God, till the 15th of December. But, hey, come on. Don't forget, 
You want to relax one night, get a couple of glasses of wine, turn the lights down, put me on the computer there, hook up some nice speakers and listen to the song for the WLYV Live Radio 122.2. Come on. All caps, www.thesongfathershow.com. Because, uh, you know, soon enough it's going to start snowing out. And um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, you know, this is what daddy used to tell me. This is what he had. He had to go to school back in the day. So if any of us complain about the snow, he's like, what are you talking about? You got a car. You got plowing and everything out here now. Not like us. This is what we. This is us going to school back in when I was a kid going to school. So I got to, uh, you know, I got to show respect for Daddy. I didn't know we had to walk through all that stuff to go to school. It's pretty amazing. I'm very proud of you, Dad. Very proud, Daddy. Daddy, yo, Daddy, and Chrissy. Of course, Chrissy. She wanted to know what I was doing. I would only give it a theme, but I wouldn't tell her the songs. Sorry, couldn't do it. And. One last thing. I wasn't going to put it up there, but this friend of mine is so proud of um, the baby that was just born. You know, and He wanted to send me videos and this and that. I said, no, but he says, well, let me just send you this picture. You wait till you see how much this baby looks like me. And that's what he sent me. Thanks for sharing. Pretty interesting, though, right? It does look like him, you know? I just can't believe the baby is smoking inside the, uh, the womb, but hey, you know... <laughs> Oh, my God almighty. There he is. There he is now. Chris. Chrissy, what is wrong with him? Please, please take him somewhere. Let them do an examination on him. Please, there's something wrong with him. My God almighty. And um, so anyway, that's it. That's the show. I'm shutting up now, getting you out of here. Have a great weekend. Thank you and good night. I love you all. Keep doing what you're doing. You make me happy, that's for sure. You make me so very happy. I'm so glad you came into my life. Not bad. I'm going to do that song. The others weren't true. <laughs> Bam. Good night, everybody. Tino says good night. We love you. We will see you Monday at this time on Monday. Bam! You thought I wasn't going to say it. Just because it's written, I still got to say it. Right, Chris? Tino, take it easy. Tino, go make us some eggs. <laughs>